Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back to CGN Reign of the Old Ones. We just sneaked into a old warehouse and we're gonna look around, see what we can find, see what we cannot find. There was apparently some waiting inside, so hey. We have some rations, a lot of rations actually, and some components. Now we can do some crafting. I don't know exactly what you can craft or how you can craft, but we'll learn about that. There's dried uncooked stuff, a pack of dried uncooked wheat, okay. Now there's more, there's a container over here, we're gonna loot this place up. The crazy sealed shut. Now can I open it up with my lockpicks or something? Oh boy, that sounds terrible. Doors and containers. Requires a subterfuge thing. Yeah. I don't want to drop it. I'm guessing this thing is not sealed with uh, with that thing. It contains useful goods for the term individual. Provided it's tightly sealed lid can somehow be pried open. We probably need something like a... Some kind of a crowbar or something to open it up. Don't possess anything to craft. So that's a crafting table, I guess. Container, alcohol, empty bottles, bottle of clean water, can of kerosene, empty syringes. We'll take it all. We'll take it all. What is this? Oh, right. The grimoire over here is uh, spells. We can learn spells and such. And that's gonna work well. Now, over here, I think this is health, and this is sanity, if I had to guess. Now, I don't think we can go through this, but I'm gonna look at it. This passage of the intersection of the warehouse seems to be blocked by a wild combination of wooden boards, mud, twigs, and dirt. And that's probably for the best. Let's uh, stand up and let's get out of here because this, you know, all kinds of noises in here. Not the best uh, for our sanity, I would say. But it's okay. Alright. Let's uh, go further. We can't go further down. What is this thing? The towering depiction of one of the elder gods perched atop the naked base of a shattered statue. Is this some kind of Cthulhu thing? Could be. Now that's the bar. Uh, hello lady. How do you do? You see typical Arkham resident. Okay. Uh, what is that a grotesque monument over there? The cult erected in place of the old Lincoln statue. Grandfather altar they call it. Damn atrocity. Cultists come from across the river to sacrifice people who have been marked by the mob. Blood offerings to Grandfather Cthulhu. <laughs> Cthulhu? Even the name freezes my blood. The grandfather, they call him, their new god who was awakened by on the black day with its brethren, the great old ones. The fanatics of the cult torture, sacrifice and kill in their names. Yes. Well, I'm not surprised. Now if you'll excuse me. Yes. Take care, lady. Take care. Uh, we're gonna move onwards to glory. Let's see what else we can find out here in this terrible, terrible place. It also makes me feel like I should... Ooh guy is saying something. I should play uh, RimWorld with those uh, Cthulhu mods again. Looks like this is a bank. I don't think bank is where we want to be. There's something to search over here. Search. Behind the crumbling balustrades of this old Georgian house, a light cluster flicker of light unexpectedly signals occupancy. Uncle Ratsack, what would you say about Uncle Ratsack? The Colonel family who used to run this bakery on the first floor is all likelihood are the residents of the Marble Orchard by now. Yes, yes indeed. Uh, this is where we have to go. This is where all the people were banging and that stuff. Our compost, although one of the newer buildings in town, the supernatural darkness has reduced the post office to decrepitude, entering the ladders of the dam betwixt its crackled walls. And what is this beautiful thing? Essex Hotel. Who could have suggested a year ago that Arkham's most prestigious lodgings would degrade into a festering hive of debauchery? They probably were a festering hive of debauchery even before that. Honest Bill's shop? I don't trust you. Honest Bill's claim to offer the best deals has become indisputable since it's now the only pawn shop in town. It's probably worth your while to take a look at. You know what? Let's, uh, let's take a look at it. Let's see what uh, poor Bill can offer us. Hello, friends. No, probably that's Bill. Bring the bullets, take away the rations. Interesting. What is this statue over here? Unsolved mystery. What? Look at it. What you first look took for a statue is actually the petrified corpse of Bill, who was frozen forever in the exact moment of his agonizing death. 
The rapidly drying beast bags became his burial shroud. So that's Bill, I guess. Hello, who are you? Find a bar is a stern looking man who looks deeply dissatisfied. Although he looks to be in his 60s, his presence invokes respect and fear. Say, are you here to buy something or just wasting my time? <coughs> who are you? Name's Joe Clements. That's Mr. Clements to you, punk. I'm someone you shouldn't be curious about. Former jeweler for the Curtellinis. Currently fucking grocers of, grocer of Arkham. Well, hard to meet you, Mr. Clements. I did some small job for Curtellini family, because I was a criminal. You did? Then you know what it means to work for a respectable syndicate. Now those guys, they were gangsters with class. Not like these fucking cannibals. You don't approve of Axe Faces matter, sir? Does it matter? This is his game now. Enough about us. Are you buying or should I ask Charlie to make you leave? Uh, is Charlie the smiling blonde fella? Charlie is the smiling blonde fella who can fill you with more lead and you need to build a fucking boat. I'm buying. I'm buying. Okay, the music seems to be slightly loud, so we're gonna have to fix that. Basically, I'm not buying. I'm just gonna sell you all this stuff that I have. Clean water, I'm keeping. Alcohol, I'm keeping. Rashes, I'm keeping. Camping supplies, I'm keeping. Blank notebook, we're keeping. Okay, we're just selling this stuff. 12 cigs, I guess. Now, they do have uh, different ammo and such. They do have different fedoras and top hats. Ooh, a crowbar. You know, maybe you can open that thing with a crowbar. That box. Let's, um, no, no. One is gonna be enough. Let's say one. So, we now need to give you six, huh? And in fact, we need to give you, like... A bunch of cigs. How about that? We could haggle. I guess that's the that's the thing. Sure. All right, we got a crowbar. Beautiful. Uh, I I will uh, lower the music slightly because I think it's kind of loud. You can see uh, it is at perfect numbers right now. But I'm gonna lower it a bit because seems slightly loud. Thank you. All right. You know what? New crowbar intel. Let's go see if you can open that box out there. And maybe get some cool stuff out of it. Now, I don't know how much point there is in buying and selling and all that stuff. Because, you know, I'm new to this game. But, it's an RPG. And in RPG, freedom is what I love the most. Uh, was I? No, this is over here. Freedom is what I love the most. And if you give me the freedom to do whatever I want and, you know buy and sell or whatever I want to do if I want to go and open a warehouse if I don't need to follow the story that's my RPG like you tell me where roughly should I go and I'll find my own way that's what I prefer an RPG that just sets you on a straight path not exactly oh look at that there's an update to this game just as I'm recording fun <clears throat> yes um, how do I? I mean, like, could you use the crowbar? Use for prying open sealed items as a melee weapon. Yes, yes. I would like to do that, but how? How do I do that? Let's uh, let's take a settings. Do we see anything? Character enter more journal stealth reload swap defend focus. Hmm, what is focus? Now, right-clicking should give me the option, right? Hmm. It's great making the useful goods for the determined individual. Pride it slightly, sealed it, can somehow be pride open. I believe it could have been opened with my, uh... My pry bar. But... I guess that is not the case. Let's go. Let's go back to... Where we were before. I am not quite sure I like the multiple loading screens happening right now, but um, it is what it is, right? Now, if you could make a run for it, buddy, I'd appreciate that. Let's go back where we were. Fine, we spent like 190, maybe 96, 92 six for uh, not really getting much, but I don't yet know how important money is. If it's very important or not. Now, there's this fellow talking about something. Let's see if you can take a look at anything out here. No. To me, the day is the disappointed. Like, he's, uh, I think he's blue, so I wanted to see what he is. 
The wretched creature before you can hardly be described as human. It is wearing odd anachronistic clothes and has wrapped its face and hands in a tattered of rags. It's cringing. Confused movements further verify the set of this unfortunate outcast. The humanoid creature is talking to itself in an uneasy guttural tone. His voice is like a cold breeze blowing from beyond the grave. Why have the cruel god chosen me for their ghastly amusement? The moment he sees you, the pitiful creature draws back in horror. Wait, I mean no harm. He sends the creature observing you with its yellow ghoulish eyes, barely visible behind the filthy rags. The outlandish being starts to talk in a rugged but strangely educated tone. Harm is the only thing you kind brought to me. The thing I once foolishly believed us to be kin. Leave me alone. Well, the Baron, the Broken. Well, take care, buddy. Take care. Take care. Let's see if you can find something good here. A few six. I'll take that. <laughs> I, I think he's still talking somewhere. Let's take a look at this. Screws. Well, screw you as well. Let's take a look at this house. The door seems to be sturdily locked for a typical building of Arkham with such decrepitness. No. You hear approaching footsteps and blunt, uneducated voice is heard from behind the doors. Who it is? I'm Steve Carrico, and you? Actually, let's say... Paperboy. Get lost. Well, screw you. Uh, are you saying that you have, uh... Guns? Although he looks like a living wreck with a lot of grease in his filthy hair, the man before you persistently advertises merchandise which looks more like trash to you, but an unfaltering energy. Well then. Welcome to the Uncle Rat Sack Shop of Undiscovered Treasures. Don't be shy, come close, I have everything you need. Let's see what you got, buddy. Uh, probably everything we need. Yeah, empty syringes, you can have them. Uh, you can have... You know what? Let's actually keep some of the stuff. Because I do kind of want to try doing some uh, trading. You know? We can't go in there. I don't want to go into this hotel because that sounds because it sounds kind of terrible bandages oh, what, is what are you what, what's going on over here oh look they have bonfire over there cool oh okay something's happening this happening again the lurkers below crack open the ground it will that was a close one well, I'm guessing it's um, an earthquake. What is what is this thing over here? It's a uh, key number zero. A key number zero. Let's check the journal. The last spot I saw that this small man in my dream was by the gates of Viscadar University. Uh, this thing. I found a peculiar key at the entrance of the ruined university, marked with the number zero. Perhaps I could find someone to tell me what it unlocks. Perhaps. Cuff, cuff. Yes. Uh, I wanted to go check these barrels. I'm one of those people that like to uh, look at all the stuff. So, scruffy man dressed in grimy garments. Uh, he's alcoholic, okay. And swollen syringe marks in his arms. Oh, great. He seems nice. As your shadow falls over the unkept and emaciated rummy, he scarcely opens one eyelid. Gwen, is that you? Oh, shoot. Are you alright, pal? Who's Gaskin? The drill sergeant? Shut off. Sergeant and string guest, did you serve in the army? What are you, a copper? The last time I checked, the mob burned down the goddamn police station. They won't tolerate a snoop around these parts, so up yours, mister. You don't look very good, buddy. I don't need no help. I'm well aware of what Richard's done to dope those to a healthy person. they will look like I give a damn. Speaking of Richter, what about him? Maybe you could bring me a shot of his morphine. If you insist on bantering with this pathetic waste of a soldier. Uh, well. Let's see. Um, hmm. Well, I just don't have a shot of morphine with me. That's unfortunate. Gee, too bad then. But lucky for you, I'll be here for quite a while. If you ever decide to bring me some of the good old stuff. Okay, so we can give this guy some morphine if we find some. We can feel it moving. Tremors. It looks down there. Sunny under the university. Let's see. Rest activities. So we can rest over here, I guess. We can use... Uh, let's see. Some... Let's see. Gambling. The character takes part in gambling session in a suitable rest area, gaining six in the process if things go right. We can't do that, I guess. 
the character scouts the surrounding area for an escape route in case of an ambush. The progression of the escape route will open more easily should the party get attacked. Or read. Cool. We're, we don't need to rest yet. Uh, we do need to find somebody that knows where that key goes. Hello. Oh, hi, darling. This isn't a good time. Oh, it's you again. No. Sorry. How about this man? A woman's flesh is poison. Well, that sounds good. You see, typical Arkham resident. Uh, what can you tell me about this key? Do it look like a locksmith or something? I haven't got the slightest idea. Maybe nutty old Isidore could help you. He runs the antique store. He has a thing for keys, so I've heard. Good, good. Where's the antique store? It's called Schmidt's Antiques, and it's located in a French hill near the clubhouse. It's an old wooden building, hard to miss. Still all kind of strange objects on display. Thank you. So it's a uh, French hill near the clubhouse. Let's look at this. Uh, Learn the provider of the antique store is there Schmidt has a thing for keys. Okay. Cool. Who are you, though? And where can we find that uh, hill? Hey, come over here. Talk to me. Um... No, that's okay. Now, do we have a map? We do. French Hill, this side. Alright. Alright, we need to go that way. Well, we could, in the meantime, check over here. Hello, friends. Can we go check the hotel? I would like to check the hotel. Let's check the hotel. Anything interesting? Nope, alt doesn't show us anything. Hello, sir. A spruce man is the third standing in the reception desk of the dilapidated hotel. From his well-groomed mustache into his sharp suit, he signifies self-esteem that's hard to come by these days. Bonjour, monsieur. Under any more normal circumstances, I'd be delighted to welcome you to Resex Hotel, one of the New England's preeminent establishments. Well, leaving aside the fact that there's no New England anymore. But regrettably, I see you're not one of the ladies and gentlemen approved by Monsieur Wax. I may only accommodate citizens who appear on the guest list. Okay, how can I get on that list? I'm afraid I cannot answer that, this question, Monsieur. For I do not know. They send a new list every once in a while, and I arrange the accommodation, but... <clears throat> Commentary of the guest seems to be excessive drinking, vandalization, vandalizing hotel property, and every other type of combination of misconduct, including the occasional murder of the other guests, committing a ritual sacrifice, and so on. Perhaps you wish to participate in such endeavors, monsieur? Uh, I think I have to go, buddy. That's all good. Can I go upstairs, or are you gonna be like, don't go upstairs? I can go upstairs. Okay. Even though I'm on, not on the list, huh? And then I told him, Your dick is so small. Come on, girls. It's time to earn your six. Hey, hey, hey. I would like to earn my six as well. Well, how about in here? Well, apparently I can just enter a room. Seems legit. Oh, I wonder why. There's a corpse over here. That is a gated corpse that died crawling across the floor. Looks like it spent its last breath trying to defend its most precious possessions. I like the idea of that. Now, I know you can also play as an investigator. Of sorts, so that sounds kind of cool. Junk key. Well, can you open the... Yeah, but I have the junk key. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, can we use the junk key? Subterfuge? You can do something with it. Ooh! You have scavenged the following items to help your subterfuge feet. History of Arkham, the origin of species, uh, Ease Homo. Okay? I don't know. Oh, we use lockpick. We have, we have a key. I, I need to learn how to use those things. A shiv. Interesting. How about in here? Uh, derby hat. That here. Well, can we, like, compare this? Fedora hats are popular due to their practicality and unpretentious style. How about this hat? The pre preferred hat for high society manifold. Slick. Let's go. I want to be slick. We have a shiv. I wonder how much stuff you can carry in here. If this is, like, never ending or very much ending. Yeah, I don't know why... I uh, I need to I need to figure out how to use the keys and such. Maybe to put something in your hand. Oh, I see. Maybe if you put something in your hand like this key, then I could use it. Oh, so maybe if I had this thing in my hand like that. 
Okay, I can't put it in my hand apparently. I can put it there, but not in my hand. Hmm. Okay, nothing else over here I can do. The overall profusion of portraits such as this, which always seem to depict the owlish visage of Arkham's Puritan fathers, fathers? Yeah. Only serves to accentuate the invariance of the town's existence. Uh, let me check if I can put the key, the key, in here. No, I'm not quite sure. Oh, we can use. Can we do like quick items? This is a useless key. Amazing. Uh, let's see. So if I were to use, hmm, where's that alcohol thing? We can put it number one. No. Hmm. About this thing? No. Huh. Can we, we probably can't go upstairs, right? Yeah. That's fine. You know, there's a corpse over there if you, like, want to look at it. But if you don't want to look at it, that's also fine. It's. I'm just saying it's there. You can probably smell it, like, even through the closed doors. It's desiccated, but I guess half of the town smells like that, so... That's okay. In any case, uh, I think I'm gonna finish the episode over here. We're gonna go check what that key is all about. We're gonna go talk to somebody on the French Hill, I believe it's called. So we're gonna check that out for now. Thank you, buddy, for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, let's see what is this guy is saying. A uh, well-built, dark-skinned man is approaching you. He, you doubt he's from these parts. He seems unaffected by Arkham's nightmarish conditions. Okay. Hola, senor. Please forgive me. Uh, for, uh, forgive my interruption, but I've been seeing you at the old eel and wanted to present her me. Uh, whatever that means. Uh, who are you, sir? I'm called Eduardo. Eduardo Carnella, to be exact. But there is nothing special about my ap apellido. I'm just the son of another poor fisherman from Coimar. Yet I carried the Carnella name to this far part of the world. Now all that remains is our past, no? You may be right, I'm Steve Carrico. A pleasure to meet you, senor. Uh, what do you want, buddy? I have a sensation that you might need my services. Different from you, I'm accustomed to this, this survival in the streets. The never-ending sobrevivient, whatever that is. I've survived the Spaniards, then American occupation, then civil war, then the American again. No hard feelings, though. But you see my point now. I know that what to do when things get, what do you say, hot. I can be the difference between life and Santa Muerte. So you're offering to fight for me. Morconamos, uh, blah, blah, Love can do so much. Money can do everything. If you pay me my six, in the order, you'll have your own special angel protector. Much for bodyguard duty. 2006 for each day I protect you. I don't care if you're fighting monsters or the mob of El Diablo himself. You know what? Sure. Let's get a dude. Bueno, lead the way, senor. Eduardo Carnella, your angel protector is by your side. Alright, Eduardo, I thought I might be able to see you here, but that's okay. What kind of weapons you use? Oh, no worries, Senora. When it comes to it, I'm good at killing. On my first fight here, I had to start with a club. Still keep it, see? It's my lucky club, El Palo. It's lucky because the man I beat with El Palo carried this. Uh, automatic pistol, see? La Diosa Fortuna is with me. Okay, let's go, buddy. Alright, as I was saying, thanks for watching. We're gonna continue with our new pal in the next episode. For now, I'll see you next time. Go, go out.